Hi, for those of you who do not know me, I'm Renee, also known as Miss HG Mercury from the Sunshine Coast Pinup School. I'm a vintage stylist and a pinup photographer, and I'm all about teaching you how to transform yourself into pinup perfection. So let's go. She's the queen of the sea. Okay, so today I am going to be doing a chatty video on my favorite. Rip tooth combs, rip tooth combs. I've never actually, I've done a blog post before and I talk about it all the time on social media, but I've never actually done a chatty rip tooth comb video before. So this is something, a product that I have um, stocked at the Sunshine Coast Pinup School uh, for a long time. Um, I first came across it because I bought a whole bunch of vintage styling books. This one really intrigued me. It was called How to Handle Long Hair. Um, I don't think it has a author. Oh yeah, by In Ingrid. Um, so this book is from, let me see, let me see, let me see, 1954, um, which I think this is an awesome resource for nowadays because a lot of all the vintage styles were of course on a smaller or a midi haircut. So how to handle long hair is a very interesting book for me, this one. Uh, it has a whole bunch of different hairstyles you can do from the one setting pattern, but I came across grip tooth combs from reading this. There are really great diagrams in it and this really piqued my interest um, because it says place a grip tooth comb securely in brackets use only a genuine grip tooth comb you will find them most effective and I'm like well what is a grip tooth comb it just looks like it just looks like a, a regular side comb that you can just get from the two dollar shop I'm like well what's that so I started searching for it as you do and I found good hair days and they are a company in America that still manufacture and create grip tooth combs the way that they have always been made. Like, oh my God, this is amazing. So I ordered some, there were no stockists in Australia at the time, ordered some on eBay and paid way too much for it. I think just for a set of two combs, I'm pretty sure I paid about $40 for by the time I got um, postage to Australia. And I tested them out and I was like, these are amazing. And I knew, how many styles I could do with this. I started playing around and I'm like, this is something that we need. This is something that we need as a modern pinup and vintage lover that does not have the time and the money to go and get our hair professionally done at the hairdressers. We want a quick style and these grip tooth combs are amazing. So they come in a range of different colors. So we've got a crystal. Um, this is a dark brown and a black, uh, the brown we call shell um, because it comes in um, a few different varying colors of brown. <laughs> and they come in different sizes too. So you've got this one, which is the most versatile. You can call it a medium. It's a two, three quarter inch size. These ones are say a small, um, a tuck, one and a quarter inch size. And Australian inches is a bit, from my head and then we've got like a large size which is the Frenchy four inch size so this one either you get one on a packet and these you get two two <laughs> so most of the styles I do are based on this size because if you have a packet of these and two of them you're pretty much set to go for a lot of styles now what makes them different from just a regular side comb so this is a side comb that you can get just at any two dollar shop um so not the best quality but as you can see everyone has seen the side comb in comparison to a grip tooth comb so the one thing that they have above everything else is that the teeth are actually touching um, so these ones they have a gap and especially at the end too you've got a bit more of a grip in there now also this is a little bit it's got like a they have a braided um, base to it, which I think is really elegant as well. So when you have it in your hair, these are, let's just do this. I'll show you in a second how to do it. It's a bit thicker than if you were to have that. It's just a little bit of a cuter style. And it's also really great if you make your own accessories um, and you have your own side combs, that little grip 
on it makes it really easy to glue um, flowers and beads and stuff too, which is what a lot of people do. Um, now, how many years ago did I buy my first grip tooth combs? Let me think. Um, five years ago. And this is my original set, these two. These are my original set, the ones that I paid way too much money for. Um, and they're still kicking. Like, <laughs> they're still going strong. So what makes these combs amazing is that they're flexible to a degree. They are quite flexible. You can push them into hairstyles. You can do all of that and they're not going to break. Sometimes you can get quite aggressive if you're pushing it into a twist like I do and you can take it out and let's just judge it up a bit like this. You can take it out. I'm just going to bend these and they can be a bit skew if. So you can get some of the teeth that are out of place. Sometimes you get a bit more of a gap down the center and you just bend them back into shape. And that is why they tend to last so much longer than any other type of comb. Now, yeah, these are, I've been wearing a grip tooth in my hair. Yeah, a lot, <laughs> a lot over these five years. It's my first, it's my protocol of a hairstyle, which I'll show you in a minute. And I've even accidentally gone to sleep with these in my hair um, because they're curved to your head and they're soft. Um, they're a, it's really hard to explain. They're a sturdy plastic, but they're soft at the same time, if you know what I mean. Um, so like for constant use, I want to say how many hours this has been in. These are brand new ones that like I took out of the packet today, gifted myself a new pair after all these years. Um, and yeah, they've just gotten a little bit more squished. If you can see that they've just gotten a little bit more squished on the center. Um, they've got a little bit more flatter, I guess, but they are a really affordable, really great comb to use. Now, how do you use them? So they've got a curvature to them. Um, so you're able to have that curve mixed, like, use it to your advantage against your head. One of my favorite styles to do is a side comb they called a side comb, is a side comb style. So you just grab that side section of your hair like so, and then you grab your grip tooth comb. So what you want to do is you want your comb to be like the hair it's holding. You want it to go against gravity. It's a bit weird. You think you'd want to have it this way, but it's not going to hold as well as this way because you want all of those hairs to be locked inside and then the bar is going to hold it into place so you grab your section and your comb and you can just push it straight forward like that i also love that when you do push it you get just that little bit of a volume on the side which you can tease if you want as well if you want a bit more volume and that is pretty secure that will stay in place. It's also great if you love to put your hair flowers in. Um, you've got a really solid base to have your hair flower in on the side and the rest of your hair is gonna be tucked around behind your ear and you're not gonna have your hair flowers like falling out of your hair at the end of the day, you know what I mean? So you can also, if you just wanna do a really cutesy style, you can use the tuck combs and just grab a smaller amount of hair. So the amount of hair you, you, you use to secure is about the width of it so you can just use a tiny little bit there and secure that smaller section which is another really cute style as well especially if you have another little flower there and you've got your hairstyle ready to go i put these in my hair all the time when i don't have my hair styled or curled and then it's also a really great problem solver if you do your curl sets and these waves at the front of your hair are just not working how you want. You want to get out the door. Um, you can pull these up and then add in your grip tooth. And then all of your hard work you've done into your curl set is still in these beautiful curls that you've got hanging down here. And you don't just have to resort to push it forward and you don't just have to resort to putting your hair up in a ponytail or covering it all in a scarf and ruining 
all of that hard work you did in your curls. <laughs> Now, these are really, 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 really sturdy. I can shake my head and they are not going anywhere. At the very most, I need to do just a tiny little push, a push and a tug throughout the day, probably once or twice. If I get, have a really aggressive hug with a friend, sometimes you can be like, my head and just give it a little bit of a tug to keep it back in place but they are amazing I love that I have been one of the first and I think only grip tooth supplier in Australia for a long time as well and I have a great relationship with the good hair days people in America and I love bringing all these products to you and thinking of all these fun and genius ways that we can use these simple side combs to create a whole bunch of vintage inspired hairstyles for the modern woman as well. She's